Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Marvel Future Fight video guys. If you want to have access to all the best Marvel Future Fight content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check the bell so you get notified when post a new video go live with a live stream. We stream every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday night, 7 p.m. Pacific time and every Friday night. It is a giveaway night this week. We're going to be giving away four crystal coupon gas so a total of 1200 crystals so make sure you do not miss the stream gas today guys are going to be jumping in uh, uh one of the brand new tier three that was released with the latest update we're going to be taking a look at the task master can he actually be a main character and not just a support anymore with that tier three advancement this is what we're going to be taking a look at in this video first guys i want to thank my boy uh fee by la for letting me use his account guys and uh let's just not check look at his crystal and go guys let's just not do it because this is like this is freaking ridiculous anyway guys let's jump in to the roster here we're going to be taking a look at him now he's lead so he's going to get a 35 percent increase all attack on his stats uh but you know you're going to be using him as a leader anyway if you use him so um that kind of fit him so let's take a look at um the set sheet obviously first we have max cooldown max single defense max critical damage max critical rate max attack speed and max dodge and we have 49,457 physical attack now that's a disappointment to be below 50,000 if you like come on man so close bro <laughs> So uh, those are actually uh, pretty damn solid stats, by the way, guys. Uh, very, very solid. Um, what we got here uh, on the gear, guys, we have, you can see, a mix of uh, physical attack, uh, dodge, critical damage, critical rate, and attack speed. No Odin Blessing, mostly five-star uh euro a couple four stars along the way but uh mostly five stars here here if we take a look at Titan enhancement which is not going to matter actually uh it's actually rank three iso set we have a fully awakened overdrive iso set so uh we get a uh well 8.5 percent all attack all defense critical rate critical damage 8.1 percent more defense and we get a cool uh 40 percent increase of all attack i don't know why i was going to say cool down um but yeah 40 percent increase of all attack proc on the a 54 second cooldown and then the custom gear we're going to be testing him with the ctp of rage obviously we're testing this for end game uh so uh we have critical rate dodge well the stats here don't really matter it's a maxed out uh ctp of rage here and if we take a look at the uniform for people who haven't looked at, at this uniform yet and maybe thinking about it well the big thing on this uniform is the uniform effect because uh you know you get increased damage done to super villain and superhero faction by 40 percent applied to all allies so it's actually um pretty awesome uh, also change skills all his skills are changed his active skills changed with this uniform uh which makes it great but we're going to check the skills uh in a minute here guys and the basic uh uniform option the uniform you need to have if you want to have all the bonus um bonus option here pretty simple you have Ronan, Marvel, Studio Captain Marvel. You have Black Widow, Endgame. You have uh, Captain America, Shannon Rogers, Dark Star Armor. You have X-23, X-Force. And then you have Beast, Uncanny X-Men. Those are the five uniform you want to have if you want to have the bonus option on his uniform. Now... Let's take a look at the skills, guys. We're going to finish with the Tier 3 Lasso. Let's take a look at the other skills first. The Tier 2 Passive. Um, flawless Strategy applied to um, Weapon ally, weapon Master Ally. So every uh, character that have the Weapon Master Special Ability uh, pretty much increase guaranteed dodge crit uh, guaranteed critical rate by 20%. Ignore target dodge rate by 20%. Increase kill damage by 25%. And bonus damage by 20%. If we look at the active skill here, we have this skill, which is uh, pretty much just decrease received damage, which actually can be uh, pretty decent. Uh, here we have icon, this ability does guard break, and this ability is physical damage. Uh, here we have wire slice, bind. So a nice little CC. This is uh, Ingor targeting. This is guard break. I think Ingor targeting mean uh, iframe, uh, if I'm not mistaken here. Uh, yeah. 
So, and we'll look at the third skill here, guys. You have defense immunity up to 55% defense down immunity up to 55% here. You have super armor, all defense, and 100% chance immunity to all damage, which is going to be a very important part of your rotation. Uh, the fourth skill here, I increase all attack and defense by 35%, speed by 1%, and critical rate by 35%, in addition of removing incapacitation, uh, which is going to be a very important part. That attack buff is going to be like the main part of your attack rotation. And then you have this skill here, Masterclass Merc, uh, defense down up to 55% your immunity and invincibility for 5 seconds. Increase attack by 10% for each 1% damage taken, so you actually have to take a damage with this guy. Uh, to get more damage, accumulated, uh, accumulate 150% of true damage regardless of defense and dodge rate stats. The total true damage accumulated cannot exceed 15% of HP. So you get more damage if you get punched in the face. Uh, and then uh, if we look at the tier 1 passive here, uh, pretty much when HP is below 50%, increase guarantee dodge rate by 40% and 20% in your defense. Now the dodge guarantee dodge rate is great, the in your defense, we're not going to need that, obviously. And we already looked at his leadership, but let's take a look again. All attack increased by 35%, defense by 35%, and speed by 10%. Applied to self and applied to all light. Dodge rate increased by 6%, which is not very good. And if we look at his tier 3 skills, guys, apply to enemy stun and paralyze. Defense down up to 60% in your immunity. 80% chance to penetrate super armor, barrier shield, all damage immune, and invincibility effect for 10 seconds. Remove all debuff for 3 seconds, 100% chance to for immunity to all damage for 10 seconds so a very solid tier 3 actually does quite a good amount of damage and this is a long tier 3 by the way guys so you will need to uh think about your proc because uh you're not going to be able to have the proc the whole uh, duration of the skill that either uh you do with the ctp well if you have a ctp of energy the or a damage proc the proc will last the whole that the whole thing but um if you have a uh, CTP of Rage, for example, and this guy, uh, the proc is not going to last the, the whole uh, skill. So you have to time your skills like two seconds before the proc trigger. You start the skill because the end of the skill is where you have the most damage. So you go, you start with the proc, uh, without proc, and then you finish the skills with the proc pretty much. And then get ready to do to start your rotation. On. So again, the rotation is going to be pretty simple, guys. It's going to be four, three. To get MUT to all damage. Um, and then uh, five, or you can go three, four, and five. Both rotation actually work good. And then when you have the tier three, it's pretty much once you finish your fifth skill, and then the uh the proc is about to disappear, then you hit that tier three, or the proc disappears, you hit that tier three, and then you finish and get um that uh, that the rest you know most of the uh tier three with the proc by the end uh which is the rotation that i feel like is working the best if you have a different rotation that work better guys feel free to let me know in the comment section as always so next guys are going to be jumping in wall boss legend and we're gonna have a, we are going to try him out obviously he's not going to be made out in squad battle so we're not going to worry about that uh he's going to be a good character for wall boss legend that's for sure either as support or as a main characters but i really like him as a main characters to be honest guys i like his survivability and everything and i uh, guess if we don't fail we're going to be able to clear it uh if you buy said uh go ahead and clear the floor if you want to clear it so the thing we're going to use is the following team here guys a full support team uh, so we have taskmaster with valkyrie and um er um what's her name mystic and then we're running with uh four uh, strikers that gives 12 percent damage increase and uh, strikers that heal us because the healing is going to be very important uh it does not have that great survivability you know sometimes sometimes it gets very very hard so we have to be very careful so let's jump in there and uh, let's try to get that rotation rolling so the rotation we're going to be using guys is three four Five. and you kind of want to cancel the third skill right after you use it the fourth skill you kind of want to wait a little bit it's me mostly a daily cancel from what i've seen uh, so far in the fifth skill you want to let it go as much as possible so let's get started with that three four five and then oh, we are going to there we go then we got third skill the fourth skill and the fifth skill here 
and you can see here this is when we're going to be popping that's here tree ability you see we're going to get the prog well we got stunned in the middle of it so that did not work out very great here we got terrible damage on that tier tree that time around sorry about that guys but you know it's not always perfect here we're gonna go tier tree here we did alternate the rotation a little bit but you can see the damage of that tier tree when we actually get it rolling properly and taking some additional damage here now. Okay, we're good. Here we're gonna go with the fifth skill. Here we go. Tier three skill. Let's see what kind of damage we're gonna get on this one. That's actually a pretty good one. That's actually my best friend so far. Dang. Okay, let's get those orbs. Let's keep going. So a little bit over a minute to move to the to take 30 bars pretty much. So that was actually pretty solid. Anyway, it's, there we go. I wanted to wait till I take a, a little bit of damage so we can actually, you know, go with accumulated damage a little bit. Here we are going to be switching, staying safe. And then uh, we're going to switch back to him. And he's going to have his tier tree ready when we go back to him. So that should be a good rotation here. There we go. Apparently, we're not really getting a proc here. Pretty annoying, right? Okay, here we go. Tier tree rotation. We're going to take a shit ton of damage here. No. That was better than I expected, actually. Did get a lot of accumulated damage here. This is not the fastest run, but technically this looked like a pretty solid run so far. Okay, we skipped the... We're about to get smacked, but uh, we moved to the next phase pretty damn f in a good position here. Here we go. Let's stand here. Let's be safe. Let's wait for him. Let's take some damage. Get the accumulated damage rolling, and let's go with that tier 3 once again. You can see the damage is really triggering a lot at the end of that tier 3. There's a, a lot of healing orbs all around the room, so that really helps when we're getting chased by that, to be honest. Now, I forgot what we're getting next, so uh, excuse me, yes, if I'm running around for a sec. Yeah, definitely forgot about that ability. See, that's why I was being careful. There we go. We move. That's what I was worrying about. Now we're good. Now I kind of want to save the tier 3 for the last phase. So uh, we are going to, you know, play this uh, a little bit safer. Oh yeah, this is going to be the skill. We're going to try to not get stuck like uh, in yesterday's video. No. Okay. That should be good now, right? Oh, I almost got smack here, man. Okay, let's move away from there. That was, uh, that was not pretty. Now, uh, technically, I shall be changing. Uh, I should not be changing. I shall be beating. Well, I shall be beating him when I'm changing. But uh, obviously, we want to do all the damage with my boy here. So that's what we are doing now. Here we uh, we're gonna try to not mess it up like we did. Now, obviously, uh, a better run will definitely give us uh, a much better score. This is not uh, the best run. We did uh, plenty of mistake. We did a lot uh, of waiting that we did not need to do there we go now we should be good to attack him here we go that's here tree ability if we get a good proc on it nope nope we did not get a good proc that was terrible that was gonna be a close one man yep we uh we kind of messed up that tier 3 at the end, so uh, we did not get it, but 
that was actually a pretty good look at what it can do. Uh, obviously, if you don't play like a noob like I do because I'm still learning those um, Wolf Boss Legend, uh, I could definitely do it with about a minute left, maybe more on stage nine, which is actually pretty solid. Obviously, it's not, you know, over the top. You know, it's not uh, stage 20 plus, uh, but still, I think a pretty decent character is for Wolf Boss Legend. I think that... It's going to be a very, very solid support character, but with the potential to be a main character here. Like, here, guys, that was really my bad at the end. Um, if I did not mess up that tier 3 skills, that would have been a, actually a very easy finish. But I didn't mess up that one tier 3 skill that I could not mess up. I did mess up, so uh, shit happened. But anyway, guys, uh, this character is actually pretty awesome uh i will consider him a very good uh combat character since the combat um you know the combat characters at tier 3 are not the strongest uh i'll definitely consider this guy a top 5 combat character in the game at least for wall boss legend you know uh it will be up there with carnage and mopping and venom uh, i think that they get pretty much similar result now in wall boss legend so i think that will be uh with them up there maybe i'm wrong Maybe uh, it's not going to be top five. Let me know, guys. Uh, what you think? Also, always good to get your opinion, but I do believe that he's going to be a very, very solid contender up there. Also, we don't even have blessing on him. So uh, you you throw a few blessing on him and uh, it will be a lot stronger. A lot lot freaking stronger anyway guys uh that is all we had for today's video wanted to check him out we check him out and i don't know if you guys love him but i do love him it might actually be a future tier tree on my free to play account we're gonna have to wait and see if i ever pulled the trigger on the fella but anyway guys thank you for watching uh hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully this video will help you in making a decision of if you want to get this guy at tier 3 or if you don't want to get this guy at tier 3 also guys thank you for being part of my amazing community you all have a great day and i will see you guys again in the next video thank you